Welcome back and this is going to be a special segment that we bring you on the Commonwealth Games 2022. My colleague Karishma will be joining me as well to take you through the highlights. Historic day for India in the last day of the CWG 2022. India's badminton star PV Sindhu clinched gold in the women's singles finals, defeating her opponent from Canada, whereas Lakshya Sen won men's singles final, defeating his opponent from Malaysia. Satvik Rankiran Reddy and Chirag Shetty won gold in men's doubles badminton as well. So it's been literally raining gold in that sense. Shanta Sharat Kamal claimed gold in men's table tennis singles. Sharat Kamal will also be the flag bearer in the closing ceremony along with Nikhat Zareen. India's total medal tally has now gone up to 61 with 22 gold medals. There, I work hard, but I think behind that, uh, you know, coach Park or um, you know, my, my physio Evangeline and my uh, strength and conditioning uh, trainer Shrikant, I think it is very important as an athlete to also maintain physically and mentally fit. So, for that, I think uh, they have really, really worked hard behind, and of course, you know, for an athlete to be injury free and also fit all the time, I think, as you know. Recovery, when it comes to recovery process, I think it's very, very important that physio should take care. And as a trainer, I have to be uh, fit enough to, to face it. So thanks to them because they've also deserved it. Next, we have the World Championships coming up. So, yeah, I will have to prepare for that. This is the third medal after bronze and silver, finally gold. How do you see this journey? And uh, you, you were seeing the, you know, rally, how the rallies were going on. And, uh, you know, she was really attacking initially. And later she was, uh, you know, uh, playing defensive. And uh, that's how she gained several points. In the, even in the second round, we can say. And Lee was, you know, exhausted even, this, even in the second round. But uh, PV Sindhu continued her, you know, energy levels and uh, fought really well. How do you see this battle? And uh, how, how do you see this complete journey? Of course, uh, as you said, it was uh, very much fact and correct. Because for a player, we need to be totally fit. That's the reason why I have, uh, you know, requested Sports Authority of India and... Uh, my badminton association of India to just uh, permit my fitness trainer Srikanth along with her so for which they have readily accepted and uh, he has accompanying her for the last you know uh, 2017 onwards whenever it is possible and at the same time as you said Lee Michelle is not an easy player and uh, she is also one of the player who will be playing super series almost all the tournaments and she has good wrist work she is a good attacking player and, uh, and uh, because of the stamina, as Sindhu was retrieving all the shuttles, uh, she was a bit exhausted. But during the first set, you might have seen the lead which Sindhu had was being covered by Lee Bishali, and uh, I was also a bit tensed at that time. But somehow she could uh, pull off the match at 21-15. But later in the second set, as you said, Sindhu was making her tired with all the movements, and that is one advantage where we could uh, win the championship. जी काफी अच्छा लग रहा है एंड जब भी मैं ये टूर्नामेंट के लिए आया था मुझे लग रहा था कि आई कैन डू वेल बट एट द सेम टाइम आई जस्ट मतलब मैंने यही सोचा कि आई विल टेक वन मैच एट अ टाइम एंड नॉट टू पुट टू मच प्रेशर ऑन माय सेल्फ एंड आई डेफिनेटली आई एम वेरी हैप्पी नाउ मैंने मैच से पहले तो कुछ सोचा नहीं था हाउ टू सेलिब्रेट बिकॉज मैं मैच पे ज़्यादा फोकस कर रहा था वो टाइम पे बट देन अगेन जैसे ही मैं मैच जीता वो सब काफ़ी मेरा रिएक्टिव काफ़ी मेरा सेलिब्रेशन था एंड आई हैव टू रियली गो एंड सी मैंने क्या किया है कि बिकॉज फर्स्ट एक दो मिनट मुझे खुद को भी नहीं पता चल रहा था कि मैं मैंने कैसे सेलिब्रेट किया हैव टू रियली गो एंड सी एंड डेफिनेटली आई आई लुक कि हाउ पीपल फाइंड इट let me go across to Karishma Singh joining us live. Karishma, finally, the Commonwealth Games have come to an end and you've been uh, highly prolific getting us all the bites and interviews and it must have been an experience in itself for you as well. But uh, right now, let's first talk about the shuttlers since they've won uh, gold, PV Sindhu's gold, the first one in, uh, in Commonwealth Games and Lakshya Sen. Your thoughts? 
Phyllis, absolutely. This has been a spectacular last day for India. Four gold medals in just uh, one day. Uh, started with PV Sindhu, then Lakshya Sen, uh, then the men's uh, doubles badminton pair, uh, Satvik and Chirag, and then uh, Indian table tennis superstar Achanta Sharath Kamal at the age of 40. Only uh, going further and further, winning the gold medal in the men's uh, individual uh, event. Uh, so clearly a great, great day for India. Remember this time around in the Commonwealth Games, we did not have a shooting which accounted for 16 medals uh, the last time around. In spite of that, India has given a very, very uh, good performance uh, in these games. And today will be remembered for a lot of reasons. Sindhu winning a elusive uh, CWG gold medal uh, debutant. Lakshya Sen winning his first CWG uh, goal. The hockey team also, obviously, the result not in their uh, favor, uh, losing to Australia, but they are they have won the silver medal as well. Yes, absolutely. Karishma, stay on. I would like uh, to come across to you for the other inputs as well. Uh, you know, let's in fact, like you mentioned, talk about the other gold medalists. Sharath Kamal and Nikhat Zareen uh, are now going to be India's flag bearers for the closing ceremony of the ongoing Commonwealth Games. That's an important information that came in earlier. In fact, uh, Karishma, if I can quickly bring you in on that point, uh, the choice of Sharat Kamal and Nikhat Zareen uh, as the flag bearers for the closing ceremony are uh, different from what uh, we saw in the opening one. Phyllis, absolutely. And Sharad Kamal, like I said, is an absolute legend when it comes to uh, table tennis and very, very deserving of this honor to be the flag bearer in the closing ceremony. Four medals for him in the CWG 2022. And Nikhat Zareen, obviously, winning her maiden CWG gold medal earlier in May. Uh, she was crowned the world champion. And now uh, she is uh, the CWG gold medalist as well. So clearly, uh, the Indian Olympic Association and the sports ministry Ministry deciding uh, to reward these uh, medal winning athletes with the honor of being the flag bearers in the closing uh, ceremony. And again, uh, we need to emphasize what Sharath Kamal has done in these uh, games. He has consecutive medals in consecutive CWG uh, games. So, see, uh, a very, very uh, serious contender for being the flag bearer is Sharath Kamal. And he will be very, very uh, proud of himself for having this honor and winning four medals in this edition of the Commonwealth. Well, games. We will have to also speak about the other sports which have done exceedingly well for India. Wrestling is one of them, uh, boxing is another and weightlifting as well. But let's also talk about the stars, the sporting stars that this tournament has produced. One of them is 19-year-old Jeremy Lalrin Nunga from Aizol who clinched a historic gold medal at the Commonwealth Games 2022 in the men's 67 kilogram category, Jeremy smashed two Commonwealth Games records by lifting a total of 300 kgs, making him the first sportsman from Mizoram uh, to bag a gold medal in the Commonwealth Games. So uh, let the, that's Jeremy on your screens right now. Born on 26th October 2002 in Aizol. Jeremy Lalrin Nunga grew up along with his four siblings. He's the son of a national-level pugilist, Lalrin Thuanga. And initially, he aspired to be like his father, a boxer, but then he switched to weightlifting, which has proven to be a winning choice for the teenage superstar. Times Network's Karishma spoke to Jeremy after his win. First, let's listen into that conversation. Congratulations on the performance. What do you want to win after winning the gold medal? I'm happy to win the gold medal, but I'm not happy for the performance. Because I've been prepared for this. It's okay that I've got a gold medal. The gold medal is coming, but I've seen your elbow problems in the back. What has happened to you? Tell me about it. In the warming up, the snatch was very good. The warming up was very good. And the clean and jerk, we had to start with my muscle. Front thighs and inner thighs were cramped. That's why I didn't walk in. I didn't do the warming up. In the warming up, I had to do the warming up. 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 But in 140, you have made a game record, 140 was snatched, and then in the clean and jerk, 
हाँ जी परफॉर्मेंस में इतना खुश नहीं क्योंकि बहुत मतलब एक्सपेक्ट था कि इस बार मैं अच्छा करूंगा क्योंकि मेरा लास्ट कंपटीशन है 67 में लेकिन ठीक है थ्री हंड्रेड भी हाँ ठीक है गोल्ड मेडल हमारे देश के लिए लेके आए थ्री हंड्रेड ने वो तो अच्छी है आपने बोला आपने 67 में लास्ट कंपटीशन है आप जी डेट में शिफ्ट करेंगे किसके लिए पेरिस ओलंपिक के लिए मैं तैयारी करूंगा सेवेंटी थ्री के जी में एंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन जब आपने पोडियम पे चढ़े जी जी नेशनल कितना प्राउड फील आप सैल्यूट कर रहे थे हाँ जी मैं वैसे ही इंडियन आर्मी से हूँ तो मैं सल्यूट करता हूँ हर टाइम नेशनल एंड बचता है तो बहुत अच्छा लगा मुझे क्योंकि सबका जो हर एथलीट का सपना होता है कि बस हमारा पोडियम में हमारा नेशनल एंड बजे वही हुआ मेरा साथ भी बहुत अच्छा लगा मुझे एंड क्वाइट अंडरस्टैंडेबली जेरमी वाज गिवन अ वार्म वेलकम इन आइजोल करिश्मा कमिंग टू यू ऑन दिस हियर इज अ 19 ईयर ओल्ड हु इज मेड इट बिग इन कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स ही इज नाउ बिकम अ हाउस होल्ड नेम इन एंड वेट लिफ्टिंग इज वन सच स्पॉट वेयर इंडिया हैज रियली परफॉर्मड वेरी वेल एंड गॉट अस मेनी मेडल्स 10 medals from this uh, edition of the commonwealth games in weightlifting and jeremy uh, has been an emerging star as far as indian weightlifting is concerned and he only uh, took this point further in the commonwealth when he performed uh, to his full potential uh, making a games record and also uh, performing with uh, you know injury in his elbow uh, there was certain amount of pain that jeremy was going through but he put aside that to win the gold medal for uh, in going to be one of the future uh, superstars to look out for as far as indian weightlifting is concerned and the olympics are concerned of fida right okay uh, karishma stay on with us talking about uh, weightlifting let's now move to wrestling which like i said is one of the sport that has won the highest number of medals for india with as many as six gold one silver five bronze making it the most successful sport for india in the commonwealth games this time karishma again spoke to two of the most uh, most well known shining superstars in wrestling gold medalist bajrang punia and bronze medalist divya kakran let's listen in pehle to koi bhi cheez nahi mante kyunki jab bhi kisi bhi tournament mein jaate koshish rehti ki hum best kare aur agar ye soch ke jaye ha mera to gold pakka hai to aur confidence ho jata hai usme to main matlab sabhi log sochte hain ki bhai bajrang acha karega to main apne aap ko bhagyashali manta hu ki log mujhe isi yoga samajhte hain अपने उस ब्रॉन्ज मेडल के लिए ब्राउन किसी भी हालत में चाहिए और कैसे भी करके चाहिए क्यूँकी मेडल तो मेडल होता है खाली आज जाने से अच्छा है की हम अपने देश के लिए मेडल लेके जाए और हमने अपना बेस्ट दिया है और कलर चेंज करने की पूरी कोशिश करी थी क्योंकि पिछली बार मेरा ब्राउन था अब की बार भी मेरा ब्राउन है तो देखते हैं आगे पूरी मेहनत करेंगे एंड वी कैन नॉट यू नो डू विदाउट मेंशनिंग द फैक्ट दैट विमेन स्पोर्ट्स मेन हैव विमेन स्पोर्ट्स विमेन हैव इन फैक्ट बीन द टोस्ट ऑफ द सीजन फॉर इंडिया वेट लिफ्टर मीरा बाई चानू रेस्लर साक्षी मलिक शटलर पी वी सिंधु प्यूजलिस्ट निखत जरीन आर ऑल हाउस होल्ड नेम्स नाउ thanks to their power pack performances winning big laurels for the country my colleague karishma caught up with meera bai chanu after she clinched a gold in weightlifting and also with uh, wrestler sakshi malik after she won bronze in the birmingham games let's listen uh meera jaise aapne compete kiya कंप्लीट डोमिनेंस था 29 केजीज का डिफरेंस था गोल्ड मेडल और सिल्वर मेडल के बीच में स्नैच में आपने अपना पर्सनल बेस्ट किया 88 एट केजीज क्लीन एंड जर्क में भी आप 109 से 113 पे गए तो कहीं ना कहीं आपका सबसे वन ऑफ द बेस्ट परफॉर्मेंसेस कहा जा सकता है हाँ जी हाँ जी मैं कल का परफॉर्मेंस में जो स्नेच मैंने किया है एटी मेरा इंटरनेशनल लेवल में पहला है तो ये परफॉर्मेंस में मुझे बहुत खुशी हो जो मैंने आ, पहले से ही सोचा था मुझे एक बार 88 या 90 क्रॉस करना है ऐसे धीरे धीरे इम्प्रूव हो रहे तो ये मुझे बहुत ही खुशी है ये परफॉर्मेंस में 
सी डब्ल्यू जी रिकॉर्ड भी बनाया है आप डिफेंडिंग चैंपियन के तौर पर दो हजार अट्ठारह में आई थी फिर आपने टोक्यो में सिल्वर मेडल जीता और फिर अब आप सी डब्ल्यू जी में जब दोबारा आई तो आपने फिर से गोल्ड मेडल जीता है तो कहीं ना कहीं आपके जो कॉमनवेल्थ का रिकॉर्ड है वो अभी भी एकदम आपके साथ ही है <laughs> हाँ जी पहले 2018 वाला भी मेरा ही रिकॉर्ड था तो इस बार पहला 48 कैटेगरी में थे अभी 49 नाइन में है तो हाँ इस बार भी मैंने ये रिकॉर्ड रखा है ताकि कमोल गेम्स में मेरा ही नाम रहे अब की बार बस सोच के यही आई थी कि गोल्ड ही लेके जाना है क्योंकि मेरा ब्रॉन्ज भी था सिल्वर भी था तो बस ये नहीं था कि मेडल लेके आना है सोच के ही घर से ये चली थी कि गोल्ड ही लेके आना है और जो ओलंपिक्स में तिरंगा झंडा मैंने लहराया था मुझे एक बार फिर से वही फील करना है और वो मैंने किया बस लास्ट तक यही सोचती हूँ कि इसके बाद मौका नहीं मिलने वाला है जैसे ओलंपिक्स में भी लास्ट मैच था था कि इसके बाद मौका नहीं मिलने वाला है ये लास्ट मैच है मेडल हाथ में आ सकता है और यहाँ था कि गोल्ड हाथ में आ सकता है तो बिल्कुल चार जीरो के बाद डाउन होने के बाद भी मैंने दिमाग में एक बार भी नहीं सोचा कि तू इससे हार जाएगी बस ये था कि कंटिन्यूसली अटैक करने हैं और ओलंपिक्स में भी दस सेकंड में भी मैंने अटैक्स किए हैं तो यहाँ तो मेरे पास पूरा तीन मिनट था तो मैंने किया well this will be undoubtedly a big boost for all the athletes and all the sports persons to now compete with higher efficiency in the next tournament and olympics of course will be the next big platform for all of these players i thank karishma for joining us with all the inputs and uh, that's it uh, that we could pack in for you in this special segment on the commonwealth games